the British Crown Jewels is a diamond. It's been fought over, it's been sued over, some even say it's cursed. But the real question is this, was it stolen? Maharaja Dalip Singh was the last Maharaja of the Punjab, destined to be uh, the ruler of one of the, the, the greatest empires in the Indian subcontinent. The Sikh or Punjab Empire, a vast kingdom that's roughly the same size as Britain, land that's now partially in India and partially in Pakistan, and all to be led by this man, Dalip Singh. For all intents and purposes, Peter's house is a shrine to a long lost ruler. From clothes to cutlery to fragrances of auntie's past, these are fragments of a story, all leading up to this one of the world's largest cut diamonds. It's called the Kohinoor, the Mountain of Light. It was a token of wealth. So whoever possessed the Kohinoor had that power, had that wealth. It was, a, it was a status symbol. A symbol worn by Dalip's father, this feared Sikh leader, Ranjit Singh, who dies, leaving behind a brutal and divided royal court. And it's into that arena that a five-year-old boy, Dalip, ascends to the throne. But there is a bigger threat surrounding the Punjab, an army of thousands belonging to one of the most powerful corporations the world has ever known, a trading and military force called the British East India Company. The majority of India by that time was under the control of the British East India Company. And the Punjab was that, that last piece which was not in their possession. And it was one of the last independent kingdoms. And um, they knew during the lifetime of Dalip's father that they could not touch it because he was just too powerful. And they must have seen Dalip singing when. Now's the time. Yeah. And so begins horrific wars between the Sikhs and the British. That combined with internal strife culminates for the child leader in the spring of 1849. The victorious British usher the young Maharaja into Lahore Fort to sign a treaty. And they make a ceremony of it whereby um, he hands over power uh, with, with pomp, showing that the British are victorious. And now we're going to totally annex the Punjab and remove you from the throne of the Punjab. How old is he when all that happens? Uh, he was around 11 years old. I, I don't think he would have known much. You know, he would have just been told what to do and he would have just done it. The reality would not have kicked in until much later. And it did kick in much later in life when he realised what he had lost. What about the diamond? What happens with the diamond after that moment? And there's several objects uh, within this treaty which uh, are, are to be handed over to the, the Crown, which includes the Koinur diamond. And so the British East India Company quietly sneaked a diamond onto a boat steaming to Britain. <laughs> 